This Thank next everyone. speaker is so passionate about design, designing and creating inspiring solutions. I've even heard a story about someone crying over an award-winning e-learning project that she created. Her curiosity for tech has her experimenting beyond the traditional approaches. It's time to reverse engineer the conference app and show how you can easily create it as a just-in-time resource from a Google Sheet people. Co-founder of the learning conference, Kath Ellis. Hi everyone, you'd think that I knew the rules on the way that we're doing this, but of course I interrupted Kim. I am so excited to be doing this session with you all and we're just going to, you know, get to it. We're going to break down our conference app. So, building an app using Glide. That's what we're going to be focusing on today. A little bit about me. It's a bit of bump, but uh, yeah, you can take my email address. So if you've got any questions later on, you can reach out to me. OK, so have you ever built an app before? For those of you who have not, and I'd say that a lot of people have not built an app. Uh, I certainly have not built a native iOS app. Today, you will be doing so. And I hope you're excited because I'm excited about showing you exactly how I built the conference app. Now, if you have not got access yet to the conference app, all you need to do is go to app.thelearningconference.online and you should already be on the, the app. You just log in with the email that you bought your ticket with. Now, if you can't access it, you'll be going to Hannah in the chat and say, yo, Hannah, hook me up. OK, now. What we're going to be looking at uh, in the next few steps or during the session is we're going to have a look at the template. So I've already got a template ready for you so you don't have to muck around. OK, you've got something to work with. So we're going to do, look at the, um, the template in, in some more detail. We're going to look at how I set up the data in the template. We're going to import it into Glide. We're going to work with what I call the tile layout. It's quite important. OK, it's a big part of the conference app that I, that, um, I used as a format. We're going to look at relations, array columns and inline lists. OK, and I'm going to explain what all this is. Uh, we're going to look at items in multiple categories. So how, how did I hook up a speaker with their session and how did I hook up sessions with categories okay so those are relations we're going to have a look at horizontal scrolling so not just scrolling down we're scrolling across we're looking at how i set up the home screen uh, with multiple inline lists and we'll have a look at um, the app menu tabs and also kind of the source sheet okay so We'll have a look at all the different kinds of formats. Now, this is what the conference app looks like. I've stripped some of it back, okay, just to make it a little bit easier to work with. But at the end of today's session, you should have a really good uh, grasp of things that you can go and start populating content in Glide. Now, not sure if you any of you have used Glide. I know that Troy has used Glide and Shirlene has used Glide in the show, which is the Learning Conference's learning competition. Uh, but if you haven't, you know, uh, there's some, some great bits for you to see um, in the competition, great submissions. All right, like I said before, I'm going to be jumping back and forth with Hannah throughout this session and she might just jump in, I might ask a prompt. So if you've got questions or if you don't understand something, ask Hannah and she'll stop me, okay? I'll try and go as slow as I can because I know this is something new and there's not a lot of time to get through. So here's what you're going to need, guys. You're going to go to glideapps.com because we're going to be using this program. Now, you will need... Um, you will need a, a Google account for this, okay? So those of you who want to maybe sit back, you don't want to do this right now, you can always go back and watch the recording afterwards, okay? I've split this into doing two steps. So you can either download the spreadsheet and actually rebuild it right now with me, or you can go to um, the full working version, which is this link, and you can copy it in full 
and have a look at it while I'm talking. So you're not following the steps. You're just looking at the whole whole built um, conference app or you download the spreadsheet. And this is what we're going to be doing right now. We're going to download the spreadsheet. So I'm going to come out of this. OK, I am going to jump over to Glide. So I'll give you a second or so. And I need for you to, I'm just going to log in with you. OK, so here it says sign up with Google. Like I said, for those of you who don't have a Google account, you're going to have to sit back and, and watch it. Um, maybe the recording again. But I'd say a lot of people have Google accounts. All right. So. You had these two links. Hopefully you've downloaded one by now. OK, and what you should have is this and it will say would you like to make a copy of kath ellis's session conference so um session the learning conference so make a copy of it and you're going to save it to your desktop okay so this is saved basically a copy into my google drive all right so this is looking good. We're gonna come back here into our Glide app and we're going to essentially um, bring it in. So, so there's two things here. Apps really, um, Glide's really nice because they've, they've been very generous in the way that they, sh they share templates and things. So when you come into Glide, you're not going to see all of this. These are my projects that I've worked on. You're either going to start from scratch or you can have a look at a template. So I'll just quickly show you this while, while we're here. Um, this is essentially Glide's different templates. It's a little bit slow to load. Here we go. So you can see there's some that are free and there's some that I pay for. But we've got our content. So was that you, Hannah? Is everything all right? I'm just going to interrupt. Are you able to show the slide with the links? Is this a uh, couple of people having trouble getting into the links? Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, these are the two links. So learningcon.link slash. And if you want the spreadsheet, you'll go demo dash SS. And if you want the working demo, it's demo. And they're the only links I'll need to be in for this session. Yep. So you'll they'll log into Glide Apps. And these are the two things that they can they can download. Okay, great. Thank you. Not a problem, guys. Keep keep asking Hannah if you get a little bit lost because we're we're gonna go quite fast here. So I've I've essentially made a copy of that template. It's now in my Google Drive. So if I go over to Glide and I go create an app from a Google Sheet. All right. It's already connected up with your with your um, it's, it's already uh, linked up with your Google Drive. You can click on that and click select. OK, and 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 automatically it's populated that information in here. Now, we just need to format it. Now, what I'll do is I'll just explain to you exactly what I did in this spreadsheet. So down here at the bottom, I hope you can all see this okay. On the home screen, okay, essentially I've got a title and I've got an image. I've populated content in a speakers tab. So this is me thinking about what do I need to, to um, get across for this conference. For the speakers, I want to have their name. I want an image. I want a title, a bio. I want their LinkedIn profile and I want their website address. OK, for the talks. I want the name of the talk. Now, don't worry about this talk URL because this is something that's going to be used in Devlin session um, on the third day of our conference. We've got a talk image. So what image did I want to represent that talk? Who's the speaker? Is the one speaker? Is the two speakers? 
And this is actually called an array column. And we'll look at this in more detail in a few minutes. We've got the date, we've got the duration, we've got the description, and we've got a category, okay? So this is me thinking about what information do I want to get across for this conference? I've, I've said, okay, I, I want my speakers, I want my talks, and the last thing is categories. So here I go into categories, and I've got the name of the category, and I've got image. Now, the magic of Glide will allow us to pull all of this information together. Is everyone going all right, Hannah? Yes, so some people are not able to log into the app, the LoadingCon app, um, but I've just said it'll be recorded so we, they can watch later on and figure it out then. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So I, I, can, I can show you exactly what um, that looks like. So you will get something that looks like this. And just bear with me. This is what you should have happen. You'll get a pin sent to you. Okay. So this, this is essentially a stripped back version of what we're going to be creating today, okay? Uh, the learning conference um, has a little bit more detail and, and pizzazz. So uh, this is what we're essentially building. So if I look here, we've got the home screen. That's the home screen. We've already talked a little bit about speakers, sessions, categories, and then we're gonna talk about how the chat function works, okay? So coming back here, we're going to look at our speakers, okay? So we're gonna look a little bit at um, the different ways that we can format this content. This content has automatically come in through Glide and I want it formatted in a different way. If you can see the way that we did it here, speakers have it in this nice format here okay so i do this just a question kath yep. um, must the images be listed as google drive links so it's you can use google drive links i'll show later on how you can change an image um in a very quick way does that make sense that's great. Thank you. And just one more question from Diana. Which template yep. was chosen from Glide Apps? Sorry? Uh, which template was chosen from Glide Apps? Uh, there wasn't a template. It was built from scratch. Okay, great. Thank you. Yep, no problem. So you, if, when you think about what you need to build, whether it's something for a local community, whether it's something, a personal thing for your team, you, it, um, this is how you break the content down. So I know that the conference app is a little bit different. It's not really learning as such, but you can at least use the principles to make your, your own content. So the key thing is you've got to get your content in these, tab, in these tabs. And then when you import it, Glide apps will do a great job to recognize what information stays together. So we're gonna look at tiles right now. And here in the layout, this is where we're going to click and you can see this is what's called an inline list you can see it's clicked here now if i click on compact i can see it formats this a little bit different and if i click it here on tiles it looks a different again so here i'm going to start playing around with the data here i actually want to see the speaker's name and the details i want to see the title of them now I don't need to do anything with the image because it's a URL and I'm going to click on square because I want I want to try and match it up to the way that we've got it looking here. Now, I can choose to have a square corner or a rounded corner. So I'm going to click on that and I'm happy having a little bit of padding. If I didn't want padding, I could click on tight. OK, I'm going to keep scrolling down. 
and I want my text to be on top of the image. So I'm going to click on overlay and I don't want it in the middle. I want it on the bottom left. So cool. We're getting somewhere. Now I, I missed a step here. I actually want to put two on a row. So see how I just click on that tiles per row. So we're getting closer here, guys. You can see here. All right. Keep scrolling down. And I actually want to put a favorite button. So see here, it's automatically doing all this work for me. It's making the, the, the favorite for me. So this is a really great start. So already we've had a look at using the layout and we've had a look at using a number of different formats to format content, okay? Now, if I go to the talks, I'm going to very quickly do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to go to tiles. Now let's, let's actually have a look at how I've got this on the talk. So I've actually called it sessions here, but this is what we're going to recreate here. So this is a big tile. So we're going to go back here and I want to show the name of the talk. And I'm not going to put any details. I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, I'm going to come down. And I want this to be a four by three. I want a sharp corner. I don't want any padding. So I can keep coming down. I want an overlay. I want it on top of the image. And again, I'd like to have a favorite. So here, we've been able to recreate this. Not the colors, but that's okay. We can, we can do that. All right, so we're, we're, we're looking pretty good here. We've got speakers, we got talks. And before we do this, we're going to now get kind of um, into a bit more detail. So if we go into Ant's uh, profile here, this looks great. Um, what I want to do is I want to actually have a, what, what's called a uh, relation to his session. So when someone comes into the tab, like if I go to Ant's profile here, he's got a relation here. So I can actually click on it and go straight in. And again, it's like a never ending loop. I can keep going back and forth. And this is ultimately what we're trying to link up. So uh, it just saves someone from having to go, oh, well, there's the speakers and let me go. I want to see Ant session and have to go into sessions and maybe do a search for Ant. Yeah. Oop. I've gone and lost my screen. <clears throat> okay. So we don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead and go into our side tab here and go to data. Okay. So what, what you can do is you can actually, from this left here, you've got layouts, you've got tabs. Actually, do you know what? Let's just quickly set up these tabs while we're here. Go ahead here, go to tabs. And all you need to do is cl click on the actual tab. Just gonna go back here. So you're gonna click on the tab and you can choose your icons, right? So uh, for home, I'm just gonna do a home tab. I'm gonna click back go to speaker, and I might just go speak, uh, or I might go, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can put a microphone, All right? So we'll put a microphone there. You can see they're updating immediately. Talks, we'll maybe put um, uh, a woman. Um, yeah, there's a woman talking here. That's good. And then categories, we'll quickly do that. And we'll put maybe a box or something like that. All right, so here we go. So we've got those set up in two seconds, okay? Data. All right, so we're going to essentially go into our speakers tab. And now we want to set up a relationship that shows what um, a speaker is doing. So over here to your right, 
we're going to click on add column. Now, is everyone is everyone doing all right? Does anyone have any questions? Nothing coming through at the moment, Kath, but I will right. let you know if I get okay, it. Okay, guys. Remember, you can watch the video again if you're running a little bit behind, okay? So here in this new column, we're going to start connecting content. So we've got, um, I'm going to call this talks. And here I'm going to go relation. Okay. So what information do I want to relate? I want to relate this speaker. Okay. To speaker. Uh, to sorry, talks to speaker array. Now, do you remember in the spreadsheet how I mentioned to you about uh, when there's multiple talk talkers, uh, talkers, speakers, um, that is an array. So what it's doing is Glide is actually um, recognizing that there's one seat, speaker one, speaker two. That is how it connects information. So if there was two categories or three or four, that's an array. So here we this little icon here shows that's an array. So that would be just choosing one speaker, that would be two, this is the array. And we wanna go match multiple because for the likes of Kim and I, we're doing multiple talks. So if I took that away, you'll see it's just got one talk, we want multiples. So that's our step done. So if we go back into our layout and we go to our speakers, We'll go into ants. What we can do is we can see how we've got some content here. We've got the title, we've got the um, action, we've got the bio, we've got the links. It's automatically come in from um, Glide. And you can format this content in whatever way you want, but it's done a lot of the work for us. So here we want to do, we want to show the connection between um, and talking. So let's go plus, and we're going to go inline. So we're creating an inline list. And what we're going to do is, I'm sorry, we're going to click out of it. And if you click into the inline list to so see how I'm hovering over these things, it tells you exactly what you where you are. You're going to go we want to show what talk he's doing, and we might want to sh want to show his name. Okay, let's let's remove his name. Let's just put his talk. Okay, so we're going to go back a step, and we can drag this up. And now this is looking a lot closer to what we have here in our conference app. Okay, so if we go back. I'm just going to show you how you can get rid of some of this stuff. So if you go here, see how it's got list above it? It's a bit ugly. So you can just go up here and delete that. All right. And if you wanted to populate this with a date, for example, or the duration, you can do that here. Okay. You can put in whatever information you've got on that spreadsheet. So now, and the beauty is you do it once. So now on all of these profiles, this is here. Now, the next step we're going to take is we're going to connect up our categories with our talks. So let's go back to our data and we're going to go to our talks tab. Now, in our talks tab, we're going to do what we did before, jump up here and create a new column. And we're going to call this speaker relation. Okay. We want a relations tab. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the speaker array. Okay. And we're going to match this with speaker. Okay. And speaker A. So again, we're matching the talk with the speaker. So again, you can click match multiple because we've just had a session with Cameron and Bianca. Okay. So we want those multiple speakers in. So we're getting, we're getting, we're, we're going great guns here, guys. Anyone stuck? Are you doing all right? Hi, Kath. So yep. we've got a question.
question here. Anne would like to know what sort of ways could we use Glide for e-learning? Would it work for something like Jason's epilepsy training? Yeah, so if let me go through these steps and then I'll talk a little bit about that, Anne. I'll show you some examples of stuff that I've built. All right. But that's a good question. I just want to keep in with these steps and, and just get this build up and then I'll, I'll show you some stuff, okay? Um, all right, so uh, we now we're going to jump back into our layout and we're going to go to talks. OK, and we're going to click into the talks and oh, this needs a bit of work. OK, so I'll show you how we can fix this. So here in the title. All right. We we don't need this description. It's too much. So see, I've just deleted that out. OK, so that's all right. Here we've got um, talk URL. Now, remember, I told you that we didn't need that because that's Devlin's for his session. OK, so here we're going to do an inline list again. So we plus that and go inline. OK, so what we're doing now is in this speaker session, we're showing who is the speaker and it's done a pretty good job. But we're just going to swap that around. We're going to go. We want the big we want the name being Aaron and his title being under. And if we just take a step back, we can drag that up to the top, right? So we we uh, we can also get rid of that ugly um, list word because we don't need that. Okay. All right, so here we, we don't actually need Aaron's name. All right, so here we've got the date, duration, and you know what, we're gonna remove the category. Um, and what we can do is we can add the bio. So sometimes it's just easy to duplicate this and we'll click on that and here we're just going to go description all right so that's got a little blurb about Aaron so again like I said once you've done one it mirrors it for all of them so we're going really really well here all right so let's take our next step we are going to go and we're going to connect our categories right so let's format this quickly so our categories look like this all right we're going to reformat this so again instead of going inline list so i'm in layout here guys you're going to go over to tiles i want this to be a wide tile like this so i'm going to leave this at 3.1 3 by 1 I want it to have sharp corners. I want the overlay and I want it to, yeah, it can just be in the middle. That's fine. But I don't need a category. I don't need that. So that look, that's looking good to me, right? Looking pretty close to what that was. All right. So we want to now put a relation in here. What session is connected to that? um that category okay so we're going to go back to our data not many more of these i promise you all right are we going to go to category all right actually we're not we're going to go to uh cool speakers yeah so we're going to go to um talks actually we're going to go to talks and we're going to add a um, category relation. And we're going to call this a relation chat tab. And we're going to here click on this category one. And we're going to match it to the value of category and category A. Okay. And again, we're just going to if there was more than one category, we could do match multiples, so we'll, we'll just leave that. Okay. I promise you there is going to be one more of these that we need to do, and that's going to be within the categories tab. Okay. So go up here to our tab, and we're going to call this one talks category. 
fine. And we, it's going to be a relation tab. And we're selecting category A with category, category. I think that's right. Category A, nope, talks, category one. So did you get that? So it's category and then go to the talks tab and then category one. And again, if there was multiple, which there is, it's good to have that on. All right, so if we now go back to our layout, now we can start connecting this stuff up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our talks tab, all right? We wanna put an inline list down here. So we go one step back. So we're in our components and we're going to go plus inline list. OK, now what we're going to do is we are going to choose. Uh, it wasn't a speaker relation. This should be. No. Um, let me have a think about this. What what am I doing? I am in I'm in talks. Are you I'm just thinking about these guys. Sometimes it can be a little bit um little bit confusing. Let's go. Let me let me just jump here for a second. I think I may have um gone and confused myself. Let's go in here. So instruction. This is fine. So we, we want to get rid of this URL. So we're going to click in here and we're going to get rid of that. We're going to leave it as, as instruction. And we're going to add a inline list. Actually, we're not. We can, we can add something different so you can see something different. So if we go in here, we can add a calendar layout. Hmm. No. Nope. I've gone and probably confused myself now. Let's have a look. What I'm wanting to do is put a schedule. I'm trying to remember what it was called. This is the fun of doing things live, hey? Um, okay, so we've got that. I want to put a calendar in. So what we've done here is in the um, categories, it's not there. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. So I just need to connect both of these up. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to, instead of wasting time working that out, I'm going to jump on theming this so you can actually see how you, you can brand this up. And let's connect what we've got on this home screen. So I can come back to that in a minute. So at the moment, I don't want it looking like this. I want it to look like this so how do we get there we'll come to layout and we're we're here on the home screen we've clicked the home tab we're just going to get rid of this and i'm going to add an image okay so we've got image and here we go so there's different ways that we can format this content see image height well, I, I actually want it to be a little bit smaller than this. So I might do a three by two. And because I don't want this cut off, I'm going to go um, show the whole image. So there you go. It's formatted nice for us. The next one that I want is some text. And see how it's brought in the text directly from my tab, my welcome tab. OK, so see here. Welcome. All right, so I'm going to format it just by clicking centered. I can even make it all caps if I want to, but I'll just leave it like this. 
Okay, so what did we have on our original? We've got three inline lists that are tiled, but actually they're scrolling horizontally. Okay, so let's have a look at how we did how we do that. So we're going to go here and we're going to do another inline list. Happy days. So we want to make sure that that is on speakers. Okay, and we want to do tiles. Now here we go. This is looking more like it. Now, if we scroll down here, uh, we don't need home, but we could maybe type here speakers. All right. Here, we don't want the title, we want the speaker's name. And if we scroll down, see how this is vertical? Well, if we click horizontal, magic, it goes this way, okay? So click back in if you've gone out. All right, if you ever get stuck, you just go as far as you can and then click back in. So we've, we've just clicked that's horizontal. I'm happy um, having, what do we have on this one actually? We've got two, all right. So I'm gonna have two on here and I want to change the format to a square. I want to have it have a sharp corner. I want it to be an overlay and I want it to be at the lower left. Okay, looking good. I also want it to be a favorite button on, on it. So. That's our speakers and that looks pretty good. Now I could be really cheeky here and just duplicate this. How about we do that? And I can show you how you can quickly populate this content. So here, if I click in speakers, I'm just gonna change this to sessions or talks. I think I called it talks. All right. And I'm gonna drop this down to talks and it should really do a lot of the work for me. But I want to make this a four by three. So I'm going to go here, go four by three, and I want one of them like that. Now, it hasn't got any details here, so I do want the talk title. And something else I should have showed you is sometimes you can actually make the text smaller or larger. I'll just leave it on medium. And I'll show you how to customize this as, as well in a minute. Now down here, because I selected that before, I've got favorites and we'll do the last one in which we, actually we won't because I didn't set up categories. Now I've only got five minutes left, so I'm going to show you how you can change the look of this. All right, so if you come down to this setting here, this is where the magic happens, right? So if you've got an avatar that you want to add, you can do that here. So at the moment, um, you can you can upload an image, but for the sake for the sake of this, I'll just put a silly avatar in. All right, and that's going to be your icon, like when you look here at the. Basically, when you save it to your home screen, it will look like this. All right. So I, I like this format personally. This is where it's kind of giving me that look that I had here for the for the conference app. Uh, but you've got some different themes. You've got um, also dark mode, if, if that takes your fancy. You've got some different system fonts. So the modern font looks really nice. And if you click into... Um, the accent colors, you can choose a default one or you can choose your own. So um, if I go to purple and then I want to kind of tweak that, I know that isn't the learning conference. Um, actually, I can type it in. I've got it here. Um, so I go 282237. OK, so that's close. Now, watch what happens here. It says accent color is not legible. Um, but I want it, so I don't really care. But um, it's saying you should have a color that's, you know, stands out a little bit more. You can go up here to general, and this is where you rename uh, the the um, the thing. So you know, you can call it learn uh, learning con um, description. 
post there, the author's name. You can choose whether you want someone to be able to copy the app. Um, you can add Zapier. Uh, so Devlin's going to be doing XAPI statements out of this. And also you've got some options for signing in. So you could make it public. Let's say you want to do something for a charity or something like that. You could do it public, public with email, password, and allow email lists. Now, by default, uh, let's go back here. So by default, you've got these options here. Now, you can essentially go to tabs and it's created already a chat for you, right? So I've just dragged that up and now you've got the chat. So it actually does a lot for you. Now, quite very quickly, and you mentioned about templates. So there's loads of different things you can do. This was a podcast template, um, which again, you just take inspiration from other people. I do like working out loud. Um, so this was a just a little podcast template. You can see, you can put maps on onto items and then map it through to images using inline lists. Um, you've got, uh, this was a little thing that I was playing around with for the, it, it's not for the CFA, I was just literally playing around. Uh, let's see what I've done here. Actually, there might not be very much in here. Yeah, so, you know, I, I just try and have a look and see well, what kind of uh, what kind of use cases could could I use for the, for the Glide app. You can see this is a little city guide that I've downloaded from the template store that's just showing, for example, cool little restaurants in an area. And people have used it for COVID-19 response. They've used it for a load of different purposes. And just go in here and go from template. Just have a look at all the ones that are for free. Um, I, I don't, can you type free here? Let's see, free, it's only got one. I've got it up. Um, so there's loads of cases. Hannah, is there any questions out there? Yeah, I've just got a question, Kath. Someone wants to know if they publish a change in the app, will it be reflected dynamically to users? Absolutely. So if I make a change in this app, within a second, it will be a live change. And that's been the beauty of using it as a conference app. Um, one thing I will say is they are not GDPR compliant fully yet, okay? It is something that they're working on. Um, so that's why I've limited a lot of the stuff in the, in the conference app, like you guys can't chat to one another and things like that for privacy purposes. I've turned all that off. Um, what I'd say is there's, there's just so much that you can, you can do and there's a community behind it. Down here in the right, you can click on here and go into the community and this is free. OK, absolutely free. You can build a certain amount of apps and you get a certain amount of kind of uh, lines of data. But it's all changes just like a Google Sheet immediately. So it means you can have multiple people, people working on the spreadsheet. And I just think it's such a great way to deliver information. So and especially when you can connect it up with XAPI through Zapier and things like that, it's really dynamic. So. Yeah, that's it, guys. Thank Any you. Any questions? There's a couple more questions in the chat, but I think we have run out of time. So okay. potentially you could jump into the chat after this and just have a look at some of them. But um, yeah, that was incredible. Thank you so much for sharing such a practical session. I think I can see how it can be used for learning solutions. And yeah, well done. We're super excited. We're getting close to the end of the day been such a valuable great day so yeah let us know the audience out there how you're feeling and what value you've got and we'll see you at the next session thanks guys bye